different city. Hello everybody and welcome to a big CTV adventure. My name is Chris and today, for the second time this year, only the second time, I have arrived in Los Angeles. That's right, Shelby and I are back. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff for Halloween Spooktacular as well as some other stuff too. It's gonna be an interesting trip. So this is the first day. We're gonna be in LA most of the day. So let's see where today's adventures take us. It wouldn't be a proper trip to LA without a trip to Pink's. Time to get some hot dogs. Ah yes, uh, Pink's famous chili cheese fries and a special hot dog and a Mexican Coke. Let's feast. Good morning, everyone. So it's a little bit later on in the trip, actually quite a bit later on in the trip, um, because this is actually the second time I've had to film these videos. Apparently I accidentally deleted the first batch. So I'm gonna try to fill in some of the gaps in terms of what we did on certain days, because there were certain things I just decided weren't really appropriate or that I didn't really want to film in terms of activities we're doing. So this is kind of just to fill in the gap. On our first day, we actually went to a tour of the Disney Studios in Burbank. And that was really cool. We met up with some friends, got to walk around some of the historic buildings, had deserted the commissary. That was cool. Uh, went to the studio store and got some pretty cool merch, which you can see in an episode of The Hall, which I already posted. And then after that, we went to Mickey's of Glendale, which was also very, very cool. I probably could have spent way more money in there. For those of you who don't know, that's basically an Imagineering shop over in Glendale. It's pretty awesome. And uh, I, I definitely would have spent more money if I had the money to spend. So that was pretty cool. But you can see all the stuff that we acquired from those two locations and a few more in the first episode of The Hall from this trip, which is already available. So go check that out. After that, we basically just went back to our, our friend's house and went to bed because we just finished a long flight and we didn't want to spend too much time doing stuff because we needed to recover and get ready for the rest of the trip. So that was the first day. All right, it is day two in LA. Uh, we're actually about to go to brunch at the Magic Castle, which is awesome. Can't show any of that, but uh, I can talk about it later. But it's pretty awesome. Uh, and we're going to see where the rest of the day takes us. It should be a fun and exciting day. So join us on this adventure. All right. So day two of our trip, um, we didn't do a whole lot either. We went to have brunch at the Magic Castle, which is awesome. You can't film or take pictures or anything in there for very specific reasons. So it's a really cool place. That's really all I can say. I've kind of described it in detail on the first time I went there, but it's it's awesome and uh, had some great food. After that, we really didn't do much. We essentially went all the way to our Airbnb, which was not as close to Anaheim as we hoped it was going to be. However, it was pretty nice. Like, I enjoyed the place, and you'll see a glimpse of that in a second. But we went to the, the Airbnb and then crashed after that. So here's a tour of the Airbnb the following day. Before that, we really didn't do a whole lot. We kind of just chilled again. So the first two days were pretty easy and relaxing, which is nice because the next few days were not. We did a lot of park stuff. So there we go. That's uh, that's day two. Okay. Good morning. It is day three and we are actually about to head out to Disneyland uh, for our first day there. But I figure since, you know, we're, we're hopping between a lot of different hotels this trip, I'll show off some of the different locations that we're staying at. So this one's pretty cool, it's an Airbnb. It's basically a whole apartment, so take a look and see what it looks like. So here's kind of an entryway where you can hang up coats and stuff. Uh, we got a nice full kitchen, fridge, freezer, stuff you definitely don't normally have in like a hotel room. Uh, they have this cool wall clock. It's pretty neat looking. Here's the living space area. This is where I crashed overnight. We have some ostriches, nice couch. Um, it's pretty cool. And then we come over here, here's the bedroom. Pretty nice, very simplistic, but pretty nice. And last but certainly not least, so I turn on the light, bathroom. Pretty nice, not too, too exciting, so. Anyway, that's it for our little tour. 
Now we're gonna head to our next destination and our next hotel. Let's go. All right, so we made it to our third location for this trip and that is the Hilton in Anaheim, right next to the Anaheim Convention Center. We've stayed here before. This one has a better view than we're used to, but uh, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's what we expect from the Hilton, so let's take a look. So it's a pretty simple hotel room. You've got the two big beds, pretty meager entertainment center. You can plug stuff into this desk, which is pretty cool. I will say the one big improvement over the last couple times is you get a pretty nice view of the pool area that we will definitely not be using <laughs> because we got Disneyland to go to. So, but still nice view, something to look at. So, and then over there, of course, in the distance, you can see the Incredicoaster and the California Adventure. So pretty cool. Anyway, I think it is time for us to go to Disneyland. So that's where we're gonna head and that's uh, where our next adventures will be on a different channel. All right, so we are on our final day here in Anaheim and we are at our last location, which is another Airbnb. This one is not nearly as nice as the other two, I can tell you that, but it was also a lot cheaper and a lot closer to Disneyland, so that's pretty nice. It's a single bedroom. Um, it's got two beds. One is kind of an elevated bed and then the other one you actually pull out from underneath, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got a restroom, got a closet. It's, it's nothing amazing, but you know what? It got the job done and it got us through our trip. So that's pretty much it for this big CTV adventure. I know it was, was not exactly the most exciting, but, uh, you get to see some of the different locations that we went to and some stuff on our first day. This has been a kind of odd trip, but, uh, we've had a good time. It's been relaxing for the most part. So Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on Big CTV Adventures.